Sweet Baby Inc. has massacred so many games and it doesn't look like that is going to stop anytime soon. And while there are hundreds of thousands of people boycotting games from narrative consultation companies, it seems that Insomniac Games doesn't quite get the picture because we know that Sweet Baby Inc. is involved in the upcoming Marvel's Wolverine game. And judging by some of the leaked images we've seen, the playable characters like Jean Grey have gotten the ugly treatment. I have a few different things to show off, but before we get into the topic, if you enjoy the content I create, check out the links in the description, join the community in my live streams, and consider supporting through Patreon or YouTube memberships. Now, of course, whenever we hear Sweet Baby Inc., Hit Detection, Black Girl Gamers, we instantly think a product is not going to be of the highest quality, because if you have to hire a group of people to tell you what you people might think is wrong with your game, um, you're probably not very good at your job, but you're also listening to a group of individuals who only represents a small minority of individuals who will purchase a product like this and of course companies are afraid of being canceled and afraid of their games not making money but by hiring SBI you're instantly going to face massive boycotts and I don't think anything is going to really be different with Mar Marvel's Wolverine game. The Marvel hype has really died down over the past few years and while this game could have been good and people were initially very curious as to what they were going to create, now we we know about their involvement and we've seen some of these leaked images, I and a lot of other people definitely are not as excited as we might have once been, but this is a That Park Place article. It says, Sweet Baby Inc. is confirmed to be working on Insomniac Games' upcoming Marvel's Wolverine game as hacked video shows that uh, Jean Grey has gotten the ugly treatment. I love her. She's one of my favorite characters. She is a awesome uh, female character that they could have made a, you know, a supporting role in like a game like this, an important character to the story. But unfortunately, we know that Sweet Baby isn't really in the business of working on good video games, just video games that apparently they can bully the developers and the companies of in order to, you know, change their product. I mean, Kimball Air has said in the past that the only way to make developers change is to, you know, harass them in, in, you know, such simple words, but it's as videos of the gameplay from Wolverine were, you know, hacked or leaked back in December 2023 with Insomniac Games confirming it, but we have recently gotten some other images that definitely do not sit well with people. It says, of course, that back in December they had said, we are aware of the stolen data that includes personal information belonging to our employees, former employees, independent contractors, and luckily enough, um, you know, there has not been any information from employees or former employees that have been leaked, which is really good. I don't want these people's, you know, private information to go out there. But at the same time, what I would want to see is, you know, gameplay and screenshots and images, which we are now seeing um, more of. Of course, there were some leaks then, but there are definitely a lot that have been leaked recently, which is, you know, why we're talking about this again. Now, of course, when the initial gameplay did leak, we found out that Jean Grey would be a playable character, and it seemed like she was going to be an extremely important person to this Wolverine story, which, again, could be fine. As long as, of course, um, you know, she's well-written, she's not just a girl boss, and, of course, they modeled her after maybe one of the previous actresses that played her, like Sophie Turner. I personally really like Sophie Turner, and if they had put her likeness into a game like this, it would have you know, gone over really, really well, especially when so many games are uglifying female characters. If you put an extremely attractive female character in your game right now, it means your game is instantly going to sell just like Stellar Blade. I mean, of course, Stellar Blade was a really good game, don't get me wrong, but the reason why it garnered so much attention in the first place is because of its beautiful character models, male and female, and that's really all you have to do to capture people's attentions. I have always said this, and I will always say this, sex 
see sells and companies need to realize that is how you make money. Of course, you have to have good gameplay and good story, but having attractive characters right off the bat to put in promotional material is a big, big win and is going to draw in a lot of people. But of course, returning to the topic of her uh, made being uglier, Mark Kern had actually recently talked about this in the uglification of female characters. Now, I did briefly touch on this in another video, primarily about a developer who came out and said, you know, companies are forcing devs to basically uglify, you know, black female characters. Um, Del Walker, he is a massive social justice warrior who is not not good for the industry and now he's complaining of course that his work is being changed when in the past even recently he has attacked games for having sexy female characters so lots of hypocrisy there that video will be linked down below but Mark Kern had showed off some of the more recently leaked screenshots as you can see we definitely have a bit of a situation going on here now granted let me just say this is all unreleased footage this was much earlier in the development cycle. It seems like these were from early last year when they were starting to develop the game. So, of course, keep in mind that this is not the final product, but at the same time, this is the direction that they were going in. So, clearly, when this is the direction they're going in, we're most likely not going to see a massive shift. I mean, maybe there's a chance because there's been so much backlash to these character models, things will change. I think Wolverine looks great. Um, every screenshot I've seen of him except for the, you know, the really, really crazy looking alpha ones that, you know, like the, the hairs clipping through suits and stuff like this shot, he looks really good. I think that he looks fantastic. But then we have um, my girl over here who looks like she just worked five shifts in a row, hasn't slept in four days, and she's going to get a drink to stay you know, to ease the pains of life. I mean, she looks rough. And then we have this one, like, like I said, um, when it comes to, you know, the, like the hair and the face glitching through the suit, that's obviously not going to be a final product. So I'm not really taking that into consideration, but then we have her over here. Oh my God. Does she look awful. Honestly, if this is the character model that they decide to go with, it is going to go down in history as the worst female character model ever. And of course, again, they're probably going to make small changes, but that's the, that's the key right there. Small changes. They're not probably going to drastically change the way that she looks. This is another angle. She looks a little bit more polished here, but at the same time, she's clearly not the character that we have seen time and time and time again not the likeness of either actresses that have played her in movies. Um, of course, that body type it does just not look like a superhero by any means. The face, she looks like she's getting the MJ treatment. And of course, this is really, really disappointing to see, but it all leads back to Sweet Baby. Back in 2021, they talked about how they were grateful as they're part of the teams bringing Spider-Man 2 and Wolverine to life with the amazing folks at Insomniac Games. It's been a truly marvelous experience. So we've known for years at this point that they were were working on this and this was even before the game went into development so that means they were there from the ground up it's not like they just happened to be hired at the end of the development and they were looking a couple you know dialogue lines over they were here from the beginning which definitely does not bode well for <laughs> this game and of course look at the direction they took spider-man 2 and they completely completely butchered mj's look and so many people were disappointed, myself included, of course, compared to the first Spider-Man game, the PlayStation 4 Spider-Man game, which she looked so, so good, such a feminine character model. And then they just took it in a complete 180, which was very disappointing to see. So I am keeping my expectations extremely low for this Wolverine game. And knowing that SBI has dug their claws into it just does not make me feel like this is going to turn out well. Obviously, only time will tell. We are still looking at, you know, 
images from very early on in development, but I have a very bad feeling about this game, and I personally would not get excited over this, and I would also not hold my breath when it comes to them, you know, potentially listening to us, because we know that companies do not like to listen, and it's almost as if companies who hire SBI want to create the worst products possible. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this, give it a like, and if you didn't, give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.